everybody, Ann here, just sitting here on the porch in front of the chickens, listening to them caterwaul. They've stopped for a few minutes because I guess nobody's laying an egg. Every time they lay an egg, it's like pandemonium up in here. It's hilarious. Anyhow, I've got so much I've got to do. Oh my gosh. So many projects and I got something delivered that I ordered. I may put it together today. I'm not sure. Um, I may work on the pond. I just need to finish my coffee and decide what it is I want to do. Uh, but my parents are coming up at the end of next week. Hopefully my son and granddaughter will be able to come. Um, my grandson has a track meet, so he's not going to be able to come. Oh, I'm going to miss him. Anyhow, um, so hopefully they'll be able to come too. If not, we're still going to have a beautiful, lovely visit. I want to make some s'mores on my fire pit out front. That is going to be great. Maybe cook a whole meal on the fire pit. And it's supposed to be good weather. I'm hoping, I thought it was going to rain. What's the matter, Bubba? Um, it was supposed to rain, but it looks like it's not going to rain, so they'll be able to camp out. Don't knock my tripod over, Papa. Um, I I pitch tents somewhere on my property. I don't know where yet. Try and find that. Papa, no. <laughs> he's going to, he's going to knock this over. That's all there is to it. He's such a love bug. Um, anyhow, so I'm going to finish my coffee and just decide what it is I'm going to get done today because I got so much to do. Well, I just found out something was waiting for me at the post office, so I'm going to go pick it up. I got my boy with me. Yeah. I can't wait to see what it is. You know what time it is. All right, I'm going to open this up. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Doreen told me she was sending me something, and I think this is it, because I recognize the size of the box. I hope it is. Let me get this open, then I'll show it to you. Ooh, and I gotta tell you, Margaret, this knife is amazing. Yep, it's from Doreen. Chickens. <laughs> anyway, there are two of these. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with this, you know. Um, we could be here all day. 36 inch times 50 feet a piece, so I have another 100 feet of this fencing, which is good because I think I've decided on at least part of what I'm going to do today, so I just need to get, get to it. There's my pretty eggs for today, and look at those brown ones. Yep, I told you Miss Pris would catch up. This has got to be Coco. I'm pretty sure this is Roxy, and I think that this is Miss Pris, but they're all pretty good sized. Yay, chicken! This is what I've been working on. Yep, I got another one of these. Put it together. This is going to be a little playpen for the new baby chicks during the day. No, I'm not going to keep them in it per permanently. It's not really set up for that. If I were, if I were to keep any chickens in here, it would have to be a very small flock and I'd have to bolster it some more and do some things to it. Of course, I wouldn't keep them in there 24 seven. What I'm planning on doing is dividing the yard, basically dividing the yard one flock gets one half of the yard, another flock gets another half of the yard. But I put a little roost in there. See that? And it is exactly like, I'm going to try and pan slowly so I don't make you dizzy. Exactly like that one over there that I got. Remember that, you guys? Yep, that's been working out great. But anyhow, this was made possible by Sarah H. with her donation to, uh, it was a $100 Get certificate to Amazon, so I picked this up, and I'm really, really happy. So now I gotta see if I can wrangle up me some baby chicks. And this is what it looks like with little tiny baby chickens in it. Look at, look at that one's coloring with all the different colors on its head. All right, I'm just gonna get the tripod and sit it up and shut up, because sometimes I talk too much, and let them just explore their environment.
just in heaven right now, sitting out here watching these baby chicks. They are just so adorable. Anyhow, yeah, I had a time getting that put together because there was a little deep defect in one of the parts, but that's okay. I, I MacGyvered it. Anyhow, um, Toreen, thank you so much for the fencing. I took down some of the fencing from up on the hill, used it around the chicken coop, and so I've got 100 feet of fence that I'm going to be able to put all the way. I don't know how far it's going to go, but um, I just thank you so much. That's going to work really well. I can even cut down some bamboo or some tree limbs and use those as stakes. It doesn't have to be formidable. It just needs to be enough to kind of keep them in. Anyhow, the rest of the chickens are just, some of them are in their yard. Some of them are out there. Who knows what they're doing. <laughs> Look at Papa. He's still shedding. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.